Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the Geek Gauntlet Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. William D. Morgan, and this is episode 18 of season two for the podcast. Guys, we have our best buddy ever back. He is getting better by the day. Happy to have him back as I did not want to do another gaming stream. Oh, my gosh. Let me bring in my man, Shaw. Shaw, what's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You getting better, man? Yeah, getting better. Getting better. Good, good, good. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with the show. Let me do this. We're going to start with a breakdown of everything going down in terms of geek culture on the networks, and then we'll get into the news. So here we go. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started for for us. So, yes, sir, let's get started. First show to talk about Legends of Tomorrow, the season finale. So, um, Ava and Sarah get married. They go up against a whole bunch of aliens that get sent down by the clone dude. They get the um, younger version of the clone dude to <clears throat> help save Spooner, who all of a sudden has some sort of power to swap powers for some reason. Which is weird, but whatever, okay. Um, after they defeat the alien dudes and they resurrect the, um, the mushroom, whatever, they defeat the clone dude and they resurrect, um, John Constantine. So he's alive. He's around. Mick decides to stay with, um, the kids and the alien chick. So they're gone as well. And... Everything seems fine and dandy until a version of the Wave Rider shows up, destroys their Wave Rider, and then leaves. So they're stuck in that particular time period. We'll see what happens um, next season. We already got a, a, a trailer. Looks interesting so far. We'll see. What do you think so far, sir? Like I said, I haven't really been watching it. I'm, I probably will go back, though, and binge it if I can. I've been doing that with What If. Um, and I'm loving what else so far. I've been binge watching it. Um, I heard this last episode, which I know you saw you get into, was pretty good. But um, yeah, I'll probably go back and binge uh, Legends. Yes. All right, sir. All right, next up, let's move on to the last three episodes of Stargirl. So, um, Sydney, that chick with the knives, <clears throat> she gains her, um, her Injustice Gang group. Um, the filler um, kid um, and um, and Artemis. She doesn't get um, Icicle Jr. He's probably going to be a lot bigger later. We'll see what happens later. Also, see, it turns out that his grandparents have powers, so that didn't know about. So she gets, gains them. Second episode, they have the big fight. Um, Courtney and the Justice Society win, only she then brings up um, Sydney brings out the diamond and gets controlled by um, Eclipso. Only only the shade shows up, saves them, fights some with them. Courtney then accidentally breaks the um the crystal, which releases the actual Eclipso. Um, the shade is now may or may not be dead. We'll see. Um, the fillers kid is dead. He's definitely gone. Everybody else escaped. Since so now Eclipso is off disguised as some mature child for the time being. Last episode, um, um, Wildcat Chick is now hallucinating um, Brainwave. You know, sh she's a lot of mental stuff, whatever. Kind of knew that was going to happen. At the end, she decides to give up being Wildcat. Blaming Courtney for, you know, her being in the situation, which, you know, kind of right a little bit, but still. And, yeah, that's everything, I believe. Yeah. What, what do you think, sir? I thought the show was really good. Um, I don't think Shade is dead. I think you'll see him again soon, mm -hmm. uh, sooner if not later. Um, I think you'll see Wildcat 2 come back. 
Um, once she gets over her issues with the hallucinations and things of that nature, uh, I think that's interesting too because it's showing as a character that she has a conscience. Mm -hmm, and um, sure. but you also saw her say, "I'm not. I'm the only one that that could kill in the group um, in this new JSA." Uh, but I'm liking Star Girl. I'm liking the twist it went down. Um, it was a good show before, but now you're taking it down a, a darker twist for Courtney and company to deal with, and I like it a lot. So um, kudos to um, kudos to them for that, and uh, let's see if they can keep things going. Agreed. Very much agreed. Let's see. We know that um the Green Lantern check will be showing back up again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we still haven't seen... um the Starman show up. Nope, not yet. Yeah, it's been a few episodes since we've seen him, so we'll see about that. Alright, next up, let's move on to the Supergirl episodes. Let's see, um, what happened? Kind of blurred up together. Um, turns out that Lena's mother was a witch of some sort. Yep. Though, not a bad witch, apparently. Some stuff happened, blah, blah, blah. She's okay for the time being. Um, let's see. Dealing more with um, that one um, dude that was in prison with his, with his housing situation and stuff. Some lady got the powers of Mixoplick, of, of Mixie. Also, um, okay, so Mixoplick showed up. You know, at first to kind of help, then they had to kind of protect him from Mixie. Then Mixie caught him in some sort of thing to kind of power up this orb to find some totems, which kind of sounded like the whole thing with them being um the whole totems when they were in crisis. But I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. Let's see. Um... They're now currently looking for Mixie, who's looking for the first totem. Um, this chick became Guardian, and we got introduced. Um, John Diggle showed up, gave her a nice new suit, which looked really good. Some good interactions there. In the end, we got an interesting interaction where he says, well, when he's leaving, he's like, worlds to protect, and then there's a little smirk from Brainy, so... Maybe he's the Green Lantern currently. Maybe we'll see about that. Though there uh, there has been word apparently that he will be back, probably in the Flash, probably. So we'll see. And he is going to be um um David Ramsey is going to be directing some episodes in the beginning of the seasons. So we'll see what's up with that. And that's everything from Supergirl. What do you think, sir? I cannot hear you, buddy. Now, in this episode of Supergirl, we got we got Gladiator, and um, man, <laughs> yeah, the helmet looked a little. Yeah. I I just think she like on paper it looked good, but yeah, I get it. I understand where you're going with the character and being an African American. I even appreciate it, but in terms of her. Oh my gosh, man. Um, I just wasn't impressed with it, at least with the look. But I understand the the intention behind it. I get it from a cultural perspective. Mm -hmm. But in terms of a character's perspective and a look, I'm just not down with that look. I'm just not down with it. But, you know, but I get everything else about it. I know she ain't going away. I know she's going to be around for the last season. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. The episode itself was solid, though. I, I thought the episode was good past that point. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Let's, um, let's make this thing happen. Let me turn my hat around. Shoot, man. Okay. Yeah. Like cool. I said, it makes less sense than Jimmy. Yeah. A lot less sense. Yeah, you know, at least you got a little training from Alex, at least. Yeah, man, yeah, she got a little bit of training from Alex. Um, I like the fact that Supergirl had to apologize 
Um, again, it showed the human side of a doggone where near Dibby guy, so to speak. Um, my, how she had to be humble and learn to see some of the the issues that people who look like me look like. And um, same thing for Alex, too. So I thought that was interesting. Um, Jean always being the man that he is, said a lot of things straight in the, in the episode. Mm -hmm. um, I like what he did, too. Overall, it was very, very good. I like the fact that they took that approach to the to the way African Americans have been seen as second class citizens. Um, and I really do appreciate that, you know, in this great episode. Um, I loved it all the way through. I don't think Mixie's dead either. I think Mixie, will come, I think Mixie will come back and be just fine. I think he's just hiding somewhere, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, hidden away. So I think we'll see him before the season's up. Um, as long as we don't see Monel, I'm happy. <laughs> No, if we don't see him, I am happy. So, yes, sir. Let's continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Next up, it's time to move on to Marvel's What If. Got three episodes to talk about. First off, Marvel Zombies. Now, personally, I've mentioned it before, I'm not really into zombies myself, but this episode was pretty good. You got, um, the reason for the zombie outbreak is because when um Hank went to go rescue um Janet from the quantum whatever, she was already infected by something mm -hmm. that made her and then him zombies and then the zombie thing spread. The episode begins with um Bruce landing on Earth after the whole Thanos thing. Yep. Um he gets attacked. Luckily, there's a few people there that can that save his life, like um, Hope and Spider-Man and them. They find an Okoye, especially Okoye. She's kind of important. <clears throat> they plan to go to some sort of beacon or whatever. Um, they, then they decide to um, split up, which is not a good idea. You know, some people die, whatever, but they finally get to where they were going, which turns out to be the Vision, who turns out his um Mind Stone can reverse the zombie thing as they meet the severed head of um of Scott Lang. They also find a one legged um Black Panther who turns out is being eaten by a Scarlet Witch. <laughs> eating people to her not really logical but you know love isn't logical yes anyway they manage to get out Hulk fights a whole bunch of zombies and there's hope but you know at first there's hope because they take the um mind stone to Wakanda mm -hmm. but then there's no hope because out comes Thanos as a zombie with like was four of the Infinity Stones, I think it was. Yep. So yeah, we'll see what happens moving forward with that. Next up, we got um. Actually, first up, what do you think of, of of the zombie episode? Um, I'm I'm going back. Um, I've been binging it. I got up to the Shield episode. Um, ah. And I'm loving. And I I'm loving what if. Um, and the Watcher man. I think that that get the. I, I did. I did Doc. I did that. The Doctor Strange episode too, and um, loving it, man. Loving it. I love the way that they got the Watcher. Um, j you can actually see his silhouette just sitting there watching the foes of Vitz, and then he speaks in the Doctor Strange episode. Um, as Doctor Strange try to convince him, you can stop this. You can fix this. And he said, "No, the hell I can't. This is all your fault. This is all you're doing. And even if I could fix that, I wouldn't." Um, to teach you a lesson, so I'm I'm loving it, man. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm going back and binge watching everything. I should be done with the What If series Hello. tonight. Um, but yeah, I, you you can go ahead and 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 let people know what's going on with it. Um, spoilers Hello. don't bother me, but I'm loving the show, man. I am loving it. it's a great show. Um, I saw the um, talk on it. The, my, 
and the best one, the best one to me so far has been the Black the Black Panther Star Lord episode. That's been the best mm-hmm. one to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm loving, man. I'm just loving it. I'm just loving the series, and right, um, right, it's fantastic. Um, we have. How you doing? Thank you for joining us, man. Appreciate you. How are you? Yeah, I'm trying to get mm-hmm. caught up too. I'm trying to get caught up too. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get caught up. Um, but it's been a great, it's been a great series so far, and I'll let Sean go ahead and explain the rest of the episodes. Go ahead, my brother. All right, so I'm gonna try to be a little vague. Um, next episode is the um what if Killmonger rescues Tony Stark? So yeah, so Killmonger rescues Tony Stark from the um Jericho missile from the movie, so he never becomes Iron Man. Um, he and um, Killmonger become close, and let's just say Killmonger shows how he intelligent he is, setting up how he ends up putting certain people against certain people. And, like, all in all, there's some good callbacks, like, um, Tony helps him build these um, mechs, these big giant mechs that are, like, anime-inspired, and he's, like, you know, he's a fan of, of um, anime, which, you know, Mago Jordan is himself a fan of anime, so that's a nice little nod. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty good. It ends with um, him becoming the Black Panther and, you know, stuff happens there. Let's see. But there is hope with um, certain lies coming to light. I'm not going to say anything else. Good episode to watch. Last episode would be the What If Thor Was an Only Child? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> Thor, you know, was never raised with um, Loki. He comes to Earth. He basically has a big party. Like, every cosmic being is there. So, like, freaking Korg and he falls in love hey. with um, Facts. Yeah. He falls in love with um, Jane. A lot of things happen. But I will say, though, um, Shield does call in Captain Marvel. Boo! Fight. Boo! Who immediately picks a fight? But it ends with um Thor winning by just placing the hammer on her chest. <laughs> I'm not gonna say how it actually. How it <laughs> you better boo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny. On uh, all the lighter episodes, except for the very end, where a very big threat shows up, and I won't say it now, just watch the episode and you'll see huge threat shows up. Fact. Anyway, all in all, that's it. What did you guys right. think? Uh, all right, guys. Um, I am up against a break, so if you guys will hang out with us for just a few minutes, we'll be right back with everything. You are listening to the Geek Gotler podcast right here on William Morgan Media, Pinfall Streams, and Geek News Now. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. We are back after I after our brief commercial break. Um, very very quickly, the first commercial you saw was for the Double XP podcast that you can view right here on Pinfall Streams every Wednesday night at eight PM Eastern. We want to make sure you join Kay. We want to make sure you join my girl Pun. Um, Tyler's over there as well. Um, they'll bring you the latest in video games, news, events, and special segments so, such as nostalgia, nostalgia look and Punisher's Pun. 
love Punisher Spy. I love Punisher Spy. So definitely head on over there every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern and check out Double XP. Then we have our Game Aware promo that you saw before. And also don't forget our sponsor, Ray's Energy Drink to GNN10 or pinfall on your two codes to save 15% off your entire order. So definitely head over to Ray's Energy on repsports.com and get you some of that Ray's Energy, get your energy level up as you, to help you progress through your day or night, whatever the case may be. All right, let me bring Shaw back on. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and continue. All right, yes, sir, yes, sir. Time we want to some birthdays and stuff. First off, um, well, a sad passing of William Grayson. He passed away. I believe he's been a few things, Sex and the City, a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. Yeah, now, if you got some happy birthdays, first up, I refer to you for Christopher Reeves, a.k.a. Superman. Rest in, peace, really bro. Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace, bro. Yes, sir. On the real. Happy 70th birthday to Michael Keaton. Yep. Yes, sir. Mm, you don't have to say anything else. We know who he is. Yep. Let's see. Happy birthday. To, um, happy 36th birthday to Tatiana. Marshalani, she's the one who's gonna be playing um Jennifer Walters in the new She Hulk series when that finally comes out. Absolutely. We have a happy birthday for Luke Wilson. We've done a few things. Oh yeah. We also have a happy birthday to um Anthony Mackey or Captain America for now. Yep. Let's see. We also lastly we have a happy birthday to Daniel Panabaker. AKA Caitlin Snow, AKA Killer Frost. One of one of Augusta Georgia's finest, by the way. She's from here, so um, yes, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up in some news, let's see. Um, Shang Chi apparently smashing the Labor Day box office, making a lot of money. So good for them. Some sadder news. Oh, yeah. Marvel and Disney apparently are filing five um, blockbuster lawsuits against creators and writers for the rights for like Spider Man, Iron Man, and such in order to keep the rights. Wow, wow. that's huge. Yeah, so we'll see what happens by 2023. I mean, whether Marvel will still have, have access to those or not, or. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Already said that. We have our first look at Jason Momoa in the new Aquaman Lost Kingdom, including a black suit. Can we show those pictures? Yeah. There's the yeah. self suit. There's the black one. Mm -hmm. There's the regular suit. Yep. It's too bad no one's gonna see that movie, so <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Apparently, Supergirl will be ending November 9th with a two hour finale. So that's gonna happen. I hate to see him let's leave. Yeah, unfortunate. Now some pretty big news. We have a animated Super Mario Brothers movie. Set to be released December twenty second, twenty twenty. I mean twenty twenty two. I mean, Mario will be cast as will be cast as um as um Chris Pine, I mean Chris Pratt. We got Anya Taylor Johnson who will be playing Peach, <laughs> Charlie Day <laughs> will be playing Luigi. Oh, gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> Go with that shot. Gets worse. Jack Black as, as Bowser. <laughs> Keaton Michael Key as Toad. Why, man? Why? Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. <laughs> Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong. Ooh. Kevin Michael Richards as oh. the Little Wizard Dude. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Um, real quick, I gotta go back to the comments. <laughs> Man, let me tell you. Look, 
you ain't lying about Melissa. You ain't lying. Uh-huh. And, and it's like, and it's like the thing the, the thing that gets me with Melissa. The more, the longer the show has gone on, the better she looked to me. I mean, mm-hmm. when, look, you look at first to CBS. Okay, you no, know, she's a little blind. Okay, she cute. Okay, let's see what's going down. Um, they look at the second season. Oh, okay, I'm starting to notice a little something, something, and. But through her playing all those roles um, and the way she did it, and now you're looking at her right now in the last season, she is looking great. So it's like she's gotten better as the series went through. And like I said, I hate this thing is is, is ending. And I don't have anything against Sasha Cali. I really, really don't. Um, she might be a fantastic Supergirl, but I just think, I think until we see her, and how she acts, I just think Melissa has it on lock. Um, but go ahead, y'all. Mm-hmm. True, true. All right. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Sebastian something playing Spike. <laughs> and lastly, there will be some surprise cameos by the original voice of Mario himself. Oh, my God. Mario from what? The cartoons or the movie? Um, the video games, the oh, original. Okay. okay. It's me, it's me, Mario. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's supposed to be animated, so we'll see. Oh my gosh, this thing, man, I'm scared. Let's how you gonna mess up Mario? How how you gonna mess up Mar- how, how you gonna mess up Mario like that? Yeah. Speaking yeah. of a franchise coming back. Apparently, and I don't, I didn't believe this initially, but it's everywhere now, so I guess it's true. Rod, um, Rosa P. Davies is returning to Doctor Who as showrunner for the 70th or the 60th anniversary and beyond. Mm. So, I mean, that's so, exactly so. That's a really good thing. I mean. He may have had his issues, but I mean, remember, all of Tennant's run, that was him. All of um, Eggleston's run, that was him. So, hey, I'm interested. I am too. Yes, sir. All right. Of course, we still have um, um, Jordy Whitaker, though I think she's going to be going after the, um, the 60th, I think. But I also think there's supposed to be like more, a couple specials. Mm. Yeah, there's supposed to be like at least one more special after the 60th, I think. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. Apparently, um, Batman actor um, Robert Patterson is depending on the relationship with the film studio. For a um, first signing, a first look deal. So now, you know, he gets first looked at him stuff and he's not going to any other um, companies. We stuck with from Warner Brothers, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Sony Pictures announced that. Um, Venom 2 will be released. Um, the date will be two weeks earlier than planned. It'll be on October 1st. And previously it was going to be the 15th, but not from the 1st. Mm. And that's all because of Chang Chi and the earnings that it received worldwide so far. What do you think about that, sir? Uh, well, the thing with Venom 2. They're not gonna make hopefully we get the crossover in Venom 2. Yeah, I've heard some stuff about that being happening, maybe. That's what I'm hoping. That. That's what I'm hoping for. We get the crossover. As long as we get that crossover in Venom 2, I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. I'll be very happy when we get the crossover with Spider-Man. Uh, but I'm not gonna be happy until we get it. And I know a lot of fans will be happy until they get it. And I don't know why they keep hold hold it back from us Marvel fans. That's something that we want to see. True, very true. Speaking of crossovers, we got our first um, death battle in a while, being Iron Man versus Batman. What do you think about that, first, sir? Bullshit. Yes, sir. Bullshit. 
Yeah. The whole reason it was bullshit. Yeah. First up, the um nano armor doesn't work that way. Nope. Secondly, Batman can hack as well. Yep. There's some called Oracle and some called the back um and computer. Mm hmm So yeah, that was bullshit. And then at the end, and then at the end of the day, Batman is the better fighter. Mm hmm Very true. Very so, true. So he's a, he's a better fighter. He's better with stealth. I felt they tried a little too hard to make it more about the armor and less of, more about the armor and less about the fighters. Because yeah. if you go back and look at it, it was all armor. Um, it, it's eccentric when they when they did what they did with that episode. Um, Batman, look. Even without prep time, Batman should have been able to win that fight because, again, better fighter can hack just as just as intelligent as Tony Stark. In my opinion, he is. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, he's just as intelligent, and um, he has a better suit. Now, granted, if he would have used the suit to the, the full its full intention, Batman probably would have died anyway. But he would have beat Tony Stark first. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just feel it's bullshit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Next time is gonna be a odd one. Black Goku versus reverse flash. That's what do you think about that, sir? That's gonna be I bet you that'd be BS too. I mean, because I'm not gonna sit here and say Zoom is not a formidable opponent because Zoom is, but when you look at it at the end of the day, um Goku black is stronger. Mm -hmm. He's more powerful. Um, he's just as strong. Uh, he's just as strong as Goku. Um, and I uh, watch they make watch they find a reason to have per, per, um, Reverse Flash win. Watch, but to me, it, it, it's no contest. Goku Black wins that series or wins that battle uh, nine times out of ten. And watch Death Battle pull an ass out of their hat for that one time where Reverse Flash would win. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch. Like I, and Shaw, I've told you before. Um, when it comes to Death Battle, with will you zig, they zag. So they do stuff that doesn't make any sense. I think they do that and get a rise out of the fans and keep the fans guessing because I bet you, you know, that Death Battle between Batman and Tony Stark. Close as it may be in the voting, I guess it'd be my opinion that people would vote more for Batman than they would Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. true, so, true. so, you know, uh, and I think they do what they do to keep us guessing. Plus, it's a rematch because didn't they do that? Didn't they do that battle once before a couple of years ago? I think so. I'm not sure. I think they did. I, I'm gonna have to look that up, but I think they did that because I thought they fought on the rooftop before. Yeah. So. And they made that more about the fighters than about the armors, and that would have, and that would have made it, you know, to be the way to go to me. Mm -hmm. So, so, yeah. All right. Next up, we got some trailers and some teasers. First up, the Orville finally getting the season three is coming out on um March tenth, twenty twenty two. It looks good so far. Can't wait for that to happen. Are you interested in the Orville? Not really, but I'll check it out. It's pretty good. It's a Star Trek S show that isn't really a parody. It's more it's a Star Trek type show. Right. You know what I mean? It's like you can very easily just just change a couple of things and it's part of Star Trek, you know? Right. Next up, we have um a T Wolf revival. They're making a movie for Paramount Plus. The um t the MTV show from from a while back ago. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in that? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see it come back. I love Team Wolf. Mm -hmm. I know that definitely a couple of the original actors definitely coming back, like um Tyler Posey and um some of the chicks. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got a trailer for the Hawkeye um series, which looks pretty good, coming out October twenty fourth. You see that yet? Yes. And I, and I've said the whole time through, look, forget Hawkeye, give us more Ronin. Mm -hmm, true, which looks interesting. Um, it turns out um, um, Kate Bishop is going to be walking around as um Ronin first, so we'll see about that. But it looks interesting though. It looks interesting. 
We also got a trailer for The Matrix, finally. What do you think about that? I saw it the other day. I liked it. I liked it, and I'm looking forward to it. The only thing I hate about it, your boy ain't going to be in it. Well, for at least from what I understand, he's not going to be in it. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like Morpheus is going to be in it because it wasn't in the trailer. Yeah, I'm hearing that that one new black dude is supposed to be like a younger Morpheus or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean... There was this um, um film theory that um a couple of them are clones or something. Which, wow, they go in that route. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Apparently, the video games, the comics are all canon. Apparently. Mm -hmm. So that's like a lot of stuff. But whatever. All right, let's go down a little bit. Oh, this one we got a picture of, and we got to show it. Apparently, there's a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 remake coming out, apparently. Yeah, give me a second. I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen in just a second. All right, let me go and get that picture for you guys to take a look at. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Bam. Yeah, apparently. And, you know, that's awesome. What do you mean? Oh, okay. To me, and to me, I don't, I don't care what people say. I don't care what people. I played them all, and to me, this is the best one. And the reason why I say this is Most the best definitely. one, and the reason why I say this one is the best one is because the roster is deeper than the yeah. other ones. How the heck are you gonna have a Marvel versus Capcom anything at all? And Rogue ain't in it. Yeah, unfortunately, after two. There was a whole thing with um, Marvel and some of the rights, so they had to take the X Men and stuff characters out. Unfortunately, luckily over time we got some of that back, not all of it, but some of it, which is unfortunate because like a lot of the best characters were X Men characters, you know, yep. X Men Spider Man characters. Yep, Venom, my personal main, freaking Rogue. Doctor Doom, Magneto, and also, and also to be fair as well, this is this version also had the best Capcom yeah. fighters in it. Yeah, fucking Hayato was one of my favorites. And also, people forget Fighter. this, and this is kind of interesting to me too because Marvel vs. Capcom Two was a limited run. So, yeah, and let me tell you what happened to me with this game. I bought it on my ex. I bought it on my Xbox. Um, but then I have I didn't play my Xbox for a minute and I don't know what happened, but that game would have been worth a lot of money. It was gone. Like it, let me see two any system, the disc that was those were worth a lot of money. I mean a couple today, of years ago, those were a lot of money. I mean when I looked it up a couple of years ago, it was like 80 bucks. I got I'm gonna look and see how much it is now. Like I had it on the PS2. That thing, man. Yeah. I'm talking about something like 100, 200 bucks. Those are worth a lot of money. Let's anyway. See. Just on eBay. Let me see how much for buy it. Just on eBay. Um, the highest listed I see for the PS2 version. And, and, and like I said, I remind you guys again. This is a very limited run. This game was not out that long. Um, mm -hmm. digital rights got taken away from me. Um, excuse me, but the PS2 version, the highest I see here, the highest buy it now, $245. No, Joe. No, I'm sorry. The highest I see as I scroll down the page, just on this page alone, the highest amount I've seen is three hundred and forty-two dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it was that short print, and that's probably why I lost the digital rights shit on Xbox um, when I did. So, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man. But this was the best one. This is the very yep. best one, and um, it had several different colors. It covers because Japan mm -hmm. cover was a little bit different than American cover. Um, Ah oh, man, I I 
am loving this game and I am glad to see that it's being remade. Hurry up and do it. Hurry up and do it. Make sure you bring it to PC too. Yeah, there's also the original story of the original Marvelous Capcom 3 way before the one that we actually got. Oh, yeah. That had like two times the characters and stuff. I mean, it's a bit of an urban legend, but yeah, like originally there was a Marvelous Capcom 3 that was in development. Uh, way more characters and stuff. All right, next up. Speaking of video games with Spider-Man, we finally got a trailer for Spider-Man 2. By the sounds of it, we heard what appears to be Craven the Hunter as well as Venom. That's right. Definitely getting Venom in this game, as well as Craven the Hunter. You'll probably be able to play as both Peter and Miles. That's what it looks like. That would be maybe, awesome if you could do that. Yeah, maybe at the same time. Maybe co-op. It would be interesting if you could do a co-op, actually. That would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know, you just got a nice little ch- teaser trailer. We'll see what happens moving forward. You, what do you think, sir? I hope we get that co-op. I mean, I, you know, I, I have, I, I haven't been the biggest Miles Morales fan, but I do like him. Um, so I hope we do get that co-op. All right, um, we are running behind on a, well, actually a little bit early, so let's go ahead and take a break here. Um, if you guys could please stay with us, we'll be right back. And you're watching the Geek Gauntlet, Geek Gauntlet podcast right here, brought to you by Pinfall Streams, Geek News Now. <clears throat> And we'll and we'll and William Morgan Media will be right back. No one pulls up like we do, no one does us like we do. Always go hard with this girl. Welcome to the show, let's make moves. Nothing's gonna stop us, it's not to get rough. Turn the whole room up, it's never enough. Let's go, 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 let's go. All right, guys, thank you for holding on and welcome back to the Geek Gala Podcast. All right, guys, the first commercial you saw was the Sports Report Podcast. I'll be making my return to that this Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Pinfall Streams. Join me, Tony C, Seven, Dirty Dan, uh, and you and you might, we might get Josh Haney back on there, depending on how his Houston, Texas do. So definitely join us for the Sports Report Sports Report Podcast right here on Pinfall Streams. Right after this is the Monday double header, we have the Sports Report After Dark podcast. That would be with Seven and Dan. Those guys are breaking down the world of sports in a human perspective. So if you check those guys out, that'd be 11:30 Eastern Time. Um, right after the Sports Report podcast, which would be at 10 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Pinfall Streams. I um, also want to thank our sponsor, Rip Sports with Raise Energy Drink. Uh, you can use your promo code GGN10 to save 15% off your entire purchase over there. So we're leaving energy for your day activities or night. Head on over there to get you some of that 15% off. All right, let's go ahead and finish strong, you guys. Let's go ahead and bring the shot back on the line. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and finish strong, man. All right, all right. We got two more pieces of news to go. Okay. 
Oh, real quick, while you're doing that, Sean, I want to say thank you to all the new followers we got tonight. We got some new followers that came on board. So thank you for being here. We do appreciate that. Uh, continue to follow along and sub um, to support the channel. Yeah. All right. So in connection to the Spider-Man video game, we're also getting a Wolverine video game. Looks interesting. We got a teaser for that. That's interesting. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and pull that up. Wire, please. One second, please. Go ahead. Right. Very top of that thing. Um, also, and lastly, um, we got a trailer for The Witcher season yeah. two. We also got, um, thank you, baby girl. We also got, um, a, a renewal for it. So, we're gonna be seeing, um, season three at some point. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so that's all the news we got for today, good sir. All right, all right, all right. A couple of things I want to go over real quick, show a few things here. Um, Shaw sent us some pictures that I wanted to dis I wanted to discuss real quick to finish up our time here. We got 13 minutes left. And don't forget, guys, we are the fastest hour in podcasting, but we also going to get the most done and complete coverage in the world of geek within that time, too. So let's go ahead and get some discussion going on in here. We're at this first person that this first picture that Shaw sent me that we can go ahead and, and break down real quick. Bam. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, which of these guys? have the better chance of taking down Superman in a random encounter with two days prep. Yeah, we got the Hulk. I'm thinking that's Warbreaker. We got the Sanctuary. We got Loki. We got Juggernauts. We got Iron Man. And we got the Silver Surfer. Kind of hard. What do you think, sir? No, it ain't. I figure it's hard. Sentry got this. <laughs> How you figure it's hard? Century got it. Look, I bet Warbreaker Harp I have a chance, hope might have a chance to. Um, but I think Century and Silver Surfer and Silver Surfer Molly Wops. Molly Wops them. Um Century is extremely powerful. As to as Silver Surfer. Um Loki a cheat uh with this with his abilities of magic, but Superman might be able to overcome that. Um Juggernaut to get beat, Iron Man to get beat, because because Kryptonite is not a thing in the Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. Um, Hulk, he, he's already Superman's already lost to Hulk. Uh, now, granted, it wasn't World Breaker Hulk, but I think he'll beat Hulk, um, with either magnitude. So, mm -hmm. you know, but I think Sentry and Silver Surfer yeah. give you the best chance of taking down Superman because they, their feats are has, they've just been incredible throughout comics. Their feats have been incredible. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. You know, and um, that's the thing with me. Um, when you have defeats to back up your power, I'm going to go with you nine times out of ten. All right, let's go ahead and do another one real quick. This is going to be a little bit of a fun one. Which of these guys have the better chance of taking down Batman in a random encounter with, encounter with two days prep? Go. Hmm. I mean, Black Panther is up there. Yeah. Black Panther will be there. Um, Deadpool. Deadpool's a cheat, though. Mm hmm. Which is why. He's a cheat. <laughs> unless you get that, unless you can find that weapon that could kill people like him. You know, I don't know. Batman probably, he'll probably be dead. He'll, he'll probably come up with a. If he doesn't, because Batman really doesn't kill, so he'll probably find a way to incapac incapacitate him or trap him or sure, something like sure. that. Uh, Cap Spidey might, uh, yeah, I mean, Spidey's kind of tough because he's so un unorthodox. Uh huh, true. I mean, that's kind of tough, but I think Black Panther, Spidey, and Cap. Um, I think he beats every, I think Batman beats everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, Batman did beat Cap in the um NBC comics. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So I think he so I think he beats I think he beats uh everybody else except Black Panther, Spider Man, um mm -hmm. and Cap. I think those three will have the better shot. Um I think you know your Punisher, your Deadpool, your Bullseyes, I think those guys are relies too much on weapons 
for mm-hmm. example. And that's what Batman is trained to handle are guys with weapons. So true, very true. I think that those guys would be the ones who um would take them down. All right, let's talk about this one real quick. Yes. <laughs> three living Spider-Man. We better, we better get all three of these jokers in the movie. Yeah, most definitely. If we don't, we rioting. Exactly. You done had the movie come out. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you had this doggone movie come out with all this hype. Then all three of them gonna be in it, and then none of them are in it. Get yeah. out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> um, just right, about the symbols. Which one do you think is the best symbol? Mm, second, the Garfield. True. Agreed. Even though, even though I didn't like the Garfield one as much as I do McGuire and Harlan. Um. I think that's a, the best symbol. Yeah, most definitely. I agree. I agree. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get this one next. Yes, best nineties or eighties. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah, I think Bruce dies first. I think Bruce dies first. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I mean, so you're talking back in the day, I mean. Yeah, I think Bruce died first. I think Universal Soldier died second. It's going to be between Rambo and Predator. And shoot, man, that's tough. Yep. But I know Die Hard and Universal Soldier die. They, they, they done. Um, mm-hmm. But that's tough. Rambo versus Predator. I might have to take Rambo on that. I don't know. That that That's tough, though. Yeah. That's tough. Um, let's bring up another one real quick. We got seven minutes. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, multiverse. Know, okay, the multiverse of Superman in the movies. Oh, for yeah, Cabo because they'll play different versions. Oh, yeah, got the real black suit. Yep, New 52. The um, Ooh. Superman Returns suit, the um, Kingdom Come suit. I don't know what you would call that black suit right there. I don't know either. That's the one from um, what you call it, I think. Um, Batman Beyond, I think. Okay. I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, that is. That is the, the, the Batman Beyond one. That is. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Yep. So, yeah. You're right. Nice mixture of suits. What do you think? Right. Yeah, you're right. It's Batman Beyond one. Um, thank you for all the new followers we got tonight. We got another new one tonight. Uh, thank you for thank you for being part of the gauntlet. Uh, but yeah. It, it might be to me on the left hand side on the right on, on the right hand side very top mm-hmm. that might be the best one to me yeah very true very true that might be the best one to me um let's head on back um real quick let's take a look at this too of course this one was you could call the best on my kitten roll yep got batman beer juice the Vulture and Birdman. Yep. All right, let's head over here real quick. Yep. Greatest leader. Who would you uh, think, sir? Optimus Prime, man. Roll out. Roll out. Optimus Prime. Easy, man. Easy. Uh, um, he dies in every carnation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he comes back stronger than ever. Mm-hmm. Love Optimus Prime. Last but not least, guys. Ah, uh, yes. Who would be the best Soul Reaper? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. pretty hard because we got some pretty big sword masters right there. Mm-hmm. Jack, oh. Intention, Gut, Afro Samurai, Guts. Gut. Mm-hmm. It's hard. I'm going to have to take Guts because Guts is hardcore. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to take him. Well, I mean, some of the feats of the other three, I mean, yeah, yeah. Samurai Jack ain't no joke neither. Mm-hmm. No joke. So I gotta give him props on that. All right. If there is nothing, if there is nothing else, y'all. Thank you for being here tonight. I do appreciate you joining me. Hope you continue a good speed of recovery, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And 
all say thank you to all our new followers tonight. I think we ended up with 12 new. Yes, we ended up with 12 new followers tonight. So thank you for coming on over to the gauntlet. We appreciate that. Got you and got all your news covered up in 50. All your news covered in 56 minutes, right under an hour. So we lift up to our namesake, the fastest hour in podcasting. If there's nothing else, I want to say thank you to everybody for having us in the living room this week. Thank you to Penfall Stream. Thank you to geeknewsdown.net. Appreciate you guys and everything that we do. And for Shaw and myself, we'll see you, we'll, we'll see you guys again next week right here on the Geek Gauntlet Podcast. Everyone have a great week. Stay safe. Hey, take care. Take care.